So I'm going to begin my color worksheet here in our workbooks and I am just using the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and the secondary colors, green, orange, and violet. And I am going to be coloring them in here in the appropriate boxes. Again, I'm just using crayon. You could do this with colored pencil as well. We are, the goal is to learn how color operates. So a lot of this is going to be review. So I'm just coloring in these first squares that say primary. So red, yellow, and blue. going to color in the appropriate color for what happens when those two colors mix. So red and yellow obviously are going to make orange, red and blue are going to make violet, and blue and yellow are going to make green. So that orange, that violet, that green, we call those secondary colors. All right, now next I'm going down to the circle where I'm gonna make a color wheel. So I'm gonna start with my primary colors. So you pick a section to begin with, and I'm writing the letter P there. And then you wanna count one, two, three, four, write the letter P. One, two, three, four, write the letter P. All of those are gonna be your primary colors. So I'm starting here with red, just coloring in this little slice of pie, if you will. And then the next one I will go ahead and do yellow, and then the one after that will be blue. So I have red, yellow, and blue. Whoops, I accidentally colored in the wrong slice of pie, but you know what, it's gonna work out. So I'm just gonna leave that and I'm gonna color in the right slice of pie. And again, that's just my regular blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the color wheel and every color like kind of in between, I'm gonna write the letter S. So red, I'll skip one, then write the letter S. I'll skip one, and then it's primary, I'll skip one, I'll write the letter S. So what happens is red and yellow are gonna make orange. So in that S section, you are gonna color orange. Now if I go to the next section, blue and yellow make green. So in the middle between them, I'm making green. The last section, blue and red, that makes violet. So in between them, I make my violet. So that way I have my primary and my secondary colors. And I know that's a little confusing with my little mistake down there. Next, we're gonna go tertiary. So red and orange, in between them, I am going to color red, and then I'm going to take an orange and layer orange on top. That way I have a red orange. Tertiary colors is a primary and a secondary mixed together. So this next section, I will have yellow orange. You always say it with the primary color first. So I have orange layered with yellow. The next one will be yellow green. Green and yellow layered on top. And then this is where my mistake came in handy. I can do a blue green over in the next section. So I already have the blue because I made the mistake. And then now I'm just gonna layer green on top of it. Next section will be blue violet. So I layer blue and violet together. And then the last section will be a red violet. So that will be red and violet together. Lastly, I will work on the other squares on the right side of the page. So you're gonna be lining up your primary and your secondaries and how they mix to create tertiaries. So the list of colors is right above all those boxes so you know what you need to do. Basically, you're gonna need two boxes of red for primary, two boxes of yellow, two boxes of blue. If you start there, then you can kinda of filter in those secondary colors to make them appropriate. Okay, and then I will start coloring in what happens when those colors mix. Again, I'm layering. I could just find the crayon in the crayon box that says red orange, but I'm choosing to layer so you guys understand how the colors mix together. So I'd rather you layer with just regular primary and secondary colors than try to find that named color in your crayon box. And this is your color practice page.